Hey, it's Rob, the Ignorant Entrepreneur, and I had to get this video off my chest. So last week, you know, I follow stocks, right? Last week, I saw AYX, aka Alteryx Inc., with some crazy options activity, and it was actually Thursday. So I noticed just out of the blue, the stock goes up 3%, but the options go up over 1,000% in games for expiration that week. This perturbed me because I've been looking for an entry point because I saw it and I was really about to buy that call option expiring. It was actually not that week. It was June 18th. The stock goes up a little bit and all of a sudden you see the option with the strike of 95 go from like $13 to about 150. This was in the span of like an hour. I'm like, whoa. So yeah, come to find out Thursday, stock traders bought 17,351 call options on the company. This was an increase of approximately 1,150% compared to the typical volume of 1,388 call options. Now this stock first came on my radar. My dad introduced it to me around 130. I didn't really trade it, but I had my eye on it because the story kind of makes sense. You've got this company, they provide end-to-end -end analytics platform for data analytics and scientists worldwide. Its analytic process automation software platform includes Alteryx Designer, a data profiling, preparation, blending, and analytics product used to create visual workflows or analytic processes. Just looking at their profile here, they, you know, they have this Alteryx server, server-based product, Alteryx Connect, a collaborative data exploration platform, Alteryx Promote, an analytics model management product for data scientists and analytics teams to build, manage, monitor, deploy other predictive models into real-time production applications. But we're probably getting too deep into data analytics. La, 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 la. Basically, they're, they're another one of these data analytics firms. We know data is the future. We know that's where everything's moving. We know companies need data analytics to figure out how to best market their solutions to their clients and figure out how to improve their products. Now, they're currently trading a little over 80. Keep in mind, a couple months ago, they were around 140. We've just been, been kind of moving sideways for the past few months. There's bound to be a bounce here at some point. And I do not doubt, I initially counted this week expiration call at 3,000% increase. I'm not kidding you, 3,000%. So if you had 1,000 in that call when it was worth around 13 and you were able to ride it up to 150, that already would have brought you up 1,200 so percent. I could only imagine if it goes up to 95. It's clearly been pumped though. It's acting like it's right now only $5 away from a 95 call target, when in actuality, it's still about 12, $13. So it's clearly been pumped up. To be honest with you, I still don't really have enough experience to know how to really play that. From what I do know about this situation, I have not bought into that. I do not play those games. But like I said, even if it doesn't go up to that range at this expiration, maybe even the July expiration might be a good idea if you time that right. It sounded like a solid company. My dad found it. He's had a ton of success in 2020. And no, I don't just mean the regular ride it up. He's found some super winners that have really shot up his account. I mean, just looking at their stats, they issued a quarterly earnings result on Monday, May 3rd. The company reported an eight cent earnings per share for the quarter, actually beating Zach's consensus estimate of 23 cents. Alteryx had a negative return on equity of 2.5 percent and a negative net margin of 9.81 percent. The business had revenue of 118.76 million during the quarter compared to the consensus estimate of 106 million. During the same period in the previous year, the business earned 10 cent EPS. The business's quarterly revenue was up 9.1 percent on a year over year basis. And research analysts forecast that Alteryx will post a negative 9.6 EPS for the current year. A number of research firms have recently commented on AYX. They all have their targets, but they all have a target over $100. So remember, it's currently at and what I liked about it in terms of options, I've looked into its past, its history. $20 swings in a couple weeks is not unprecedented for the stock. So that's very encouraging for the uh, option side. And that goes for puts as well. Yes, this is one stock I'll continue to keep my eye on. Let me know what you guys think if you appreciated this stock. Let me know. Like the video, comment, subscribe. This has been the Ignorant Entrepreneur. I'm out.